What kind of toys do y'all do? Anyways, we are at fucking Michael's today. We will be y'all will be spending the day with me since Miss Smith is at work today. So I'm about to go in here and get these boxes. But wow, let me tell y'all something. It is fucking hot as shit out here. But anyways, I'll be back in a minute. Am I sweating? Shit. Anyways, I'll be back. Stay tuned. Peace. Back. Anyways. I ain't tell y'all what we was gonna, what y'all was gonna be spending time with me today doing. Well, y'all gonna be watching me do what I do best is baking. So today I'm gonna be fixing a key lime cake and a red velvet cake, and I'll be doing it in parts so you won't have to sit through the whole time while I bake. Anyways, I'm finna go to the house and get started, and I'll be back. All right. At the house right now, I'm about to get started on this key lime cake. As you can see, God look ingredients. I ain't gonna tell y'all what all go on this cake, cause this is not fucking Paula Dean. This is just spend the day with Kurt. So I'm get started, and then when I get ready to put it in the pot, so I'll show you the the batter. All right. Peace. Ingredients and. Um, Mixer, so now it's battering. Give it about a couple of seconds, and then we're gonna take it out and put it in the pan. I know y'all like, hell, that was quick. Cause I work quick. Back, I'm about to put these in the oven. As you can see, we got one, we got two, we got three. We got these little air bubbles in here. You know, anytime you get air bubbles in the cake, all you want to do is just drop it down like that. You see, these little bubbles don't pop, so you got your cake like that. Anyways, if y'all hear any noise in the background, I got these kids here. You know, they out of school for the spring break. <clears throat> So, about to put these in the oven, and we'll be back when they come out. Alright? Y'all hang on tight now. Alright? Back! Cakes. Just got the cakes out of the oven, as you can see. They're done. Gotta wait for them to cool off. Then after they cool off, then I start putting them together. And then we'll be done with one cake, and then we'll have one to go. Let's see? the whole surprise is not going flat with these with these kinds you know <clears throat> they kind of flat out a little bit so sometimes you get lucky sometimes you don't but you know you gotta learn how to improvise when you're putting on the cream cheese anyways y'all stay tuned I'll be back in about another hour all right sugar in here then I put a little bit of vanilla in there one thing I don't like about confessing sugar is that shit gets every fucking wear. So, I'm about to blend this. Then we're going to stick this in the freezer because it's key. I put key lime juice in it. And it, when I put the key lime juice in it, it kind of gets kind of liquidy. So, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator to stiffen it up. And then I'm going to take it out. Till then, I'm going to cut up some limes to go on top of the cake. This presentation is a must. You know, you can't put out shit. But I don't sell shit over here. I sell cakes and cupcakes. People. Right now, I'm about to get ready to cut up these limes. Because the limes go on top for decoration. You know, so when people see the cake, they be like, oh, it's so pretty. I don't want to cut it. I always get that shit. Anyways, man, y'all see that bullshit ass game yesterday between the Heat and the damn Celtics, man. If the Miami don't know by now that LeBron James is a fucking flute, man, I don't know what the hell to tell them, man. 
this dude here, man, I, I know he scored 23 or however many points he scored last night, but this dude right here ain't helping or hindering. Well, he is hindering Miami to get to the top. I mean, all that money they paid for Bosch and him and even Dwayne Wade to be in Miami together, man, all that shit was hype. Um, basically, man, if y'all motherfuckers still thinking that LeBron James is a leader, please kill yourself because that is not the case. Anyway, back to work. I'll see y'all later. I was telling y'all that with these kind of cases, you know, sometimes they be so moist that sometimes they'll break apart. So sometimes you'd be like, you're lucky if you don't, you're lucky if you do. But you gotta learn how to improvise. So right here, it's kind of broke apart. So the ones that come out that look kind of flat, you throw them in the middle. That way it won't be sidetracked when you put the whole cake together. So the only thing I'm gonna do is just layer all of this, smooth it out, and then I'm gonna show y'all later. Hold on. You can't even tell that the cake was broken. Okay, you done putting the icing on the cake. So now it's time to decorate so damn hot in this damn house I swear this is the main reason why I hate cooking during the daytime because it be so hot when you turn on the oven you know it's hard times these days so you know you don't want to crank up the AC not just yet you know you want to wait till mid June or hell even early June the way it is now let me decorate this thing and I'm gonna show you a few minutes we're fucking done about time and this is the finish of the key lime cake. One down, one more to go. A couple of tips while doing this now. The key to get this thing real bright is pink. You get the pink neon little pack at the store and you just only need like a couple of dots. And then when you get ready to mix it, You'll get a real bright pink cup, I mean red color. Right back. Compared to the red that's on here. That's what that neon pink stuff does and makes it more brighter. So we're finna get ready to stick these in the oven. You know, it is hot as hell in this damn kitchen. Same same thing as last time with the key lines. Put two at the bottom. Kinda of hard to do this <laughs> and hold the phone too. Then you put the last one on top. Then we're gonna let these sit in here about 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna come right back. Red velvet cakes. Got one, got two, got three. I know some people be like, well, you always make three layer cakes. Yep. Unless they're one of my high end cakes, then we double it and then we put the cheesecake in the middle so we finna let these cool off and then we're gonna go ahead and top them and that's gonna be it because it's damn hot as hell in this damn house and nigga gonna get butt ass naked on this top this red velvet cake you got your pecans here then you got your cream cheese in there what you gonna i'm gonna show y'all how to do the first one the first layer and then after that i'm gonna top the whole thing and then show you um, <clears throat> the frosting and the cake itself. Be right back. This is the main fucking event. This is something you cannot damn miss, okay? Finish layering the top. I mean, frosting the top layer of this cake, right? So I told y'all how I was gonna show y'all how to do this. What you do is you layer it and then you take your pecans. Hold on. Trying to hold the phone and do the pecans at the same time. So give me a minute. And what you do is you're just going to sprinkle the pecans around. You know. Now, nine times out of ten, I don't too much put pecans inside the cake. Because, you know, if it's not requested, I just don't do it. So if you request it, then I'll do it. Bam. And obviously, I'm going to put more than that on there. I'm going to go ahead and frost the whole cake 
And then before I decorate the top and all that other stuff, I'll show you what the what it looks like plain, then I'll come back. Before we put all the pecans and all the other stuff on there. You see the little spots where you got where you can see the red, all I'm gonna do right here is just cover it with pecans so when people finally see it they won't see all of this right here. Alright. So I'll be right back. Finally done. All I gotta do is just clean around it. I put the pecans on here to get a little closer. You can see those little shavings. All I did was put it in the blender. Put the pecans in the blender. Let it blend for a little bit so I can get the little pecan crumbs. Put it on the side. Put the cake cleaned up. See how clean it is on the side. I'm gonna make sure you don't have all that pecan stuff down in here inside the box. So unprofessional. Anyways, done with this cake. I'm going to clean up my area. As you can see, my office is dirty as hell. So I'm going to clean up my area. Bring both cakes back. And then hit y'all with an outro. And then that is it. Alright? That's it. That's it. Fini. Done. It's hot in here. I'm tired. I'll be back. Here it is. When it's all finished. You got your key lime here. Red velvet here. And no, I didn't do these just to be doing them. This goes to a client of mine for tomorrow. Just got an early start on it today. Will not be going to work tomorrow because guess what? I don't made all my money for tomorrow. Ain't that something? So, get a good look. Got your key lime here. Show you the bad parts. You know how clean it is in there. Then you got your red velvet here and these are my top sellers right here too so anyways I hope y'all enjoyed your day with me because I enjoyed spending time with you guys today and until next time we will see y'all tomorrow I don't know what we're going to talk about have a slice idea until then I'll see y'all later peace